Good morning, everyone. Day 142. I just wiped the lens, but it's still cloudy. Oh, well, this will have to do for right now. Just left camp a few minutes ago, about 5.20 in the morning. Getting an early start so we can get over to A-Ball Camp Store there, the general store near A-Ball Bridge. I don't know if it's A-Ball or A-Ball. We'll find out later. Let's see, so that's about 11 and a half miles from camp. And then uh, we'll resupply just for one night and, and our summit day, hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow, we don't have internet, so I haven't been able to check the forecast. It was trending towards being a little better tomorrow. We'll see how it looks today. If by any chance the very next day is crystal clear, we'll wait one day and do it on a nice clear day rest the legs another day but we have to make that decision at the general store but you can't go on from there you go across and register for a camping spot and hike 10 miles to your camping spot at the base of Katahdin at a place called the Birches but you can only stay there the one night before your summit so you can't go there and wait for good weather you have to wait outside one of the two campgrounds near Abel Bridge so uh, we'll get up here and uh, and see how that goes. Also made contact with a few shuttle drivers. Looks like we have one for a fare rate that can pick us up in the park after our hike and take us to Bangor, Maine, where we can take a bus or a plane or however we want or in a car, or do whatever we need because I want to stay at the hostel and do laundry and all that, but there's just no way to not make it a two-night thing. As you leave the hostel in the morning, a lot of flights and buses are long gone by the time you get to Bangor from Millinocket any morning, unless you're lucky enough to have a flight that leaves in the evening. So uh, then you get home real late. So in an effort to avoid an extra night, which this point who cares an extra night but i'm ready to get on with some other things and uh, after i enjoy these next two days so i may if we summit early enough i may just fly out the same day be a big day up at 3 30 start hiking at four summit come back down leave around noon go to bangor airport and uh, upset some fellow passengers. Sorry for the jungle here. Upset some fellow passengers with a little bit of hiker funk. I'd rather, if uh, it's gonna be too late though, I'll grab a, my last Best Western uh, of the trip and do some laundry and take a shower and eat some good food, then fly up. Now I haven't decided if I'm flying to see my mother in Kentucky from flying to my house. So, uh, lots of last minute choices. So, uh, I'm not buying the ticket until I know so I'm basically in the shuttle car on the way to the airport and make sure I'm gonna get there, you know, get good two hours early. Rocks and roots, rocks and roots, that's main. It's not rocks and roots, it's, it's uh, just horse flies, black flies, mosquitoes, and a gazillion gnats. But anyway, it's enough rambling for one morning. We can get back to hiking here and finally getting warmed up. And uh, today's operation trip a little less. Yesterday, I think, is a new record for how many times I tripped and couldn't tell you how many that was, but it was, it was a lot. And the dappled light from the sun. Some of these routes are impossible for me to see. My vision's pretty good. But, uh, oh well. I think I looked too far ahead instead of right at my feet. Kind of like the hike and a lot of things. I'm always thinking a few months, a year, several years ahead. Sometimes at the expense of what I'm doing right this second. So that's why I like doing this short, short moment of Zen. Forced me to think about right now for a few seconds. And I get to share them with you. Anyway, that's it for now. 141 underway. Don't forget, you can email me at hikingwithslowandsteady at gmail.com. Uh, but make sure you hit the subscribe. Yes, even this late in the game, because there'll be more adventures coming up. Hiking, I don't know, but 
other things. I, I'm involved with a lot of things, so we'll see what else is next. So hit the subscribe, hit like if there's anything today you like. And then uh, if you feel really so compelled, you can hit the thanks button and donate a little. All that goes straight to me to help re recoup some of the some of the costs of this trip. Just the equipment and stuff. I'm not trying to make any money here, but it's nice to get a little bit of help with replacing equipment that I've that's failed on the trip. So, and I'll do a uh, gear shakedown video sometime after I get back home and uh, share with you different things I've learned along the way. Little lessons learned and what I would do different and all that great stuff. All right, I gotta get hiking. I like to get to that store before too, too late. Uh, it's 11 and a half miles, 5 a.m., 5.20 a.m. Might be able to get there by 10 or so. Just have to see what kind of terrain we're walking on right now. It's rooty, but walkable. Even one hand on the phone, one hand on my hiking sticks. Still making decent time. I'll show you here real quick before I get serious hiking. Catch up in a minute. All right, here's what I'm walking on. It's beautiful right now. How long it stays that way, I don't know. But it's four miles to the first climb. A couple of smaller climbs today. Uh, so we'll see how that affects overall speed, but no big deal. And I'm going to be quiet now and hopefully we can find some more wildlife today. I'll share it with you if I do. That's my favorite, favorite part out here. Running into critters and big animals, little animals. Anyway, all right, I'll catch up in a minute. And go catch up with Bob and enjoy that sun. All right, made it to one of the last small climbs of the AT. This is Rainbow Ledges. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there you go. 21.2 to Baxter Peak. Almost there. See you there tomorrow, if all goes well. Wish I was there right now. It's clear, clear, clear. We're gonna check the weather here. If we get some internet and uh, see what's going on for tomorrow. Hopefully it's a good summit day. Stay tuned. All right, check out this little view from Rainbow Ledges. There's Katahdin. See you tomorrow, Katahdin. Probably one of the last boardwalks in Maine here. May have some more, but let me get a little more video of what these are like. And that's probably deep, 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 deep mud. You don't want to fall in there. Be messy. Some of them go a lot deeper than that, too. All right, almost at Abel Bridge in the, in the general store for some snacks and a very tiny resupply for tonight and tomorrow's summit. All right, I think we're a mile or less out now. All right, coming up on the Golden Road. It's like the Yellow Brick Road in the Wizard of Oz. This takes us over to Abel Bridge, the general store for food and all goodies. And uh, just, uh, just outside of Baxter State Park, this is where we came from. A mosquito got me through my head net right in the forehead. It felt good. So this is Golden Road. Looks like asphalt to me. I don't know. And dust. We're going to walk up this way for a quarter mile, three quarter, or a third of a mile, something, to the general store and get rolling. See some southbounders coming our way.
Check out this view of Abel Stream, Abel Campsite, all kinds of stuff around. Beautiful. And most importantly, look up there. There she is. That's tomorrow. The end of this journey, right over there on the right peak there. See Knife Edge way over here. Here's the Able General Store, open for business. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Time to get some food. Well, things were good at the A-Ball General Store, and it is A-Ball, not Able. See what I see up there? See Knife Edge and Katahdin. But once you leave the General Store, you go up the road and down this little trail. We'll go up here to a kiosk and check in and keep hiking. So we'll see if we're uh, finished by noon tomorrow. And we'll tell you why later. I'll probably tell you tomorrow. And we'll tell you what tomorrow is tomorrow. Stay tuned. Just finished at the kiosk. I'm sorry, I forgot to take pictures of it. Several things you have to sign up for there. Campsite, register for the hike to the campsite. I don't know what the other one was, checking out the kiosk, I guess. <laughs> anyway, three different forms to fill out and sign up. And and uh, with the lady there, the attendant, the trail, we call it a uh, ridge runner. It's a lot of help, good knowledge. Very friendly and it's hot out here so I know she's cooking in the sun anyway the trail once you leave there so far we've got nine miles of trail some of it's easy some of it is not the trail goes to the left it looks like here Abel Pond trail goes up that way to the right we'll just have to assume since they don't actually show anything but I do see a white blaze over here this is the AT, so it changes immediately. That's all right, it's still nice. We hear it's like four miles of nice, then a little bit of climbing. We'll find out. There's the Penobscot River on the AT going into Baxter State Park. The trail's a little different here, but pine needles and pretty soft. Looks like we we'll follow the river for a little bit. People are out there rafting. Might be the people we saw when we we're at the general store. They were getting dropped off upstream. Check out these little falls. A little moment is in for today on the way into Baxter State Park and the base of the top. This empties into the west branch of the Penobscot up there. First stream crossing inside Baxter State Park. A little dicey, but made it across. We just passed somebody who said he fell in one of the two stream crossings face first pack holding him down he was a big guy with a big pack I bet uh, probably pretty terrifying for him he was ready to call tonight he had another three or four miles to go to get to a ball bridge and set up his tent there for the night it was a nice easy walk out from where he was so should be fine there's some more nice rapids 
and more fun stuff. And some more waterfalls. I think we took a wrong turn. We're at Big Niagara Falls. I think this is a little smaller than regular Niagara Falls, but bigger than Little Niagara Falls coming up later. And there's hiking and yoga going on. Here's a little view of Dicey Pond or Dicey Pond. Beautiful over here. There's some more boardwalks here, little bog boards crossing some streams in Baxter State Park. Getting close to Katahdin Stream Camp Campground and the birches. Check out these cool little creatures. Iridescent green. All right, made it to Katahdin Stream campsite. There's a little information board. You gotta come here and register and sign in in the morning. I don't know about tonight, but probably tonight too. Here's where you store your packs or anything you want to leave behind while you do your summit and come back and pick it up here. So this is Katahdin Stream itself. This is where you get water to filter for the night at the birches and also for the climb tomorrow. There'll be one more place on the way up, about two miles from here, I understand to get some more if we need it. Cold, clear water. Well, we made it to the Birches, about a quarter mile from the Ranger Station. You go to the Ranger Station first and come to the Birches. There's a privy to welcome you to the Birches. And the trail's right behind the privy. Here's a close-up of a Todd and Baxter State Park privy. There's TP. Look at that. It's the little things. Anyway, we'll head down this way to the birches. We haven't seen bear cables or bear line in a while, but there is one down that way somewhere for the birches, which are right here. These two lean-tos and some tent sites. The platform is a little broken down. There's a little kumbaya table with a fire pit. 
if anybody's here, we just ran into Carr, who we left at, I uh, don't know where that was, Monson? Where did we leave him? Yeah, in Monson. And he just caught up with us, so I guess we'll get to catch up with him tonight and see how his 100 mile wilderness adventure was. All right. Two of these, and they're identical, and now we figure out where to set up. All right, that's a wrap. Day 141's in the bag. I'm all set up inside the shelter, ready for a good night's sleep, a long night, sort of. Got to get up at 3.30 and start hiking and see if we can get back down the mountain by noon. Not supposed to be very good visibility up top tomorrow, if any. It says obscure, whatever that means. So I'm not expecting a whole lot, but we'll get rolling as soon as there's a, just an ounce of daylight. And uh, we'll have our headlights anyway. And uh, I've got the backpack stripped down to the bare minimums just to make it up and back. And that's that. So with that, I eat way, way too much food. So um, I'm going to go curl up in a sleeping bag and call it a night. Although it's hot out. But there's tons of mosquitoes and bugs. So you got to be in the, in the bivy in a sleeping bag. Have a good night all.